welcome back and i welcome you into a special session of tech one two where we are going to review the best home office essentials when you're using your laptop there's so many options out there but i've got you covered because with 20 years of experiences <laughs> i'm fumbling my words today with 20 years of experience reviewing tech devices selling it to thousands of customers probably tens of thousands of customers from around the world i have been able to deep dive and research devices that you've heard of and maybe some that you haven't so i've done the research i've done my homework and i'm giving you the shortcuts on which devices are going to be best for your home office today so we're going to start off with probably the most used device that came on after the pandemic and that's the webcam lowly old webcam webcams oh there's so many different but if you're a professional and you're someone that wants to level up your game or maybe you're going to use this as part of talking to clients talking to patients doing telehealth or anything that involves showing your face to potential customers you want to pay attention as to which webcams are going to do you right because there's plenty of them that will do you wrong and along the way i'm going to give you some hacks shortcuts and tips on how to get the best image how to really look good when it comes to using some of these devices because off the shelf some of them will not work as you intend them to that's just the way the game is uh, but sit back relax on today and oh by the way we're also going to get to um, the best headphones that you can use with your laptop both a premium as well as budget so we'll get to some of those today on this live so let's get to it let's jump right into the webcams first one up today so we've got the best runner-up and honorable mention and i'm going to take a little swig here make sure my throat is up to par i'm going to move my keyboard out of the way here all right so best overall webcam is by far the poly p15 now these are not in order of low to high in terms of cost this is what i have found will fit the need the most for somebody that's working out of their home office and using these types of devices so the p15 what do I like the P15? Well, let me show you. First of all, the P15 is not doesn't look like your average webcam. This is, looks very, first of all, the looks are very different. Uh, and it's also integrated. So what you get in here, let me see if I could show you, because it's quite important to understand what you're getting. With this webcam, you've got built-in microphones. So your voice can be picked up way better than on a standard webcam. Secondly, the audio, look at this. Most webcams do not have a speaker. And if they do, it's a teeny, 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 teeny thing, probably about the size of a cell phone speaker or smartphone or even smaller. So you're gonna get really good audio if you're listening to something. So this doubles as a webcam and a speaker phone all in one. So you, get, you can get rid of a lot of things on your desk. If you're not somebody that's into headsets, and all you want to do is turn on the webcam and have folks look at you and you want to hear them or and you want them to hear you clearly this is the one now i'm going to tell you the hero feature here so you don't have to do all the research the hero feature here is that this comes with special software so that if you do have a lot of distracting noise which tends to happen in in many different environments whether you're in a um, you're in a hospital you're at home even um, so this can fit in many more locations than just the home office but even if you're in a home office i could tell you a story of, so, of, a, of someone that i know who started using this she lived near the airport not like super close like she could see it but close enough where she was on a flight pattern and what she would tell me is that very often during certain times of the day one the planes when they were flying by they would create a lot of noise and people would hear that when she was on zoom and teams and it was really just just bothersome and then you don't want that uh, secondly when her landscaper would come by and do you know the landscaping you hear the lawnmower even though she's inside even though she's got her window shut that noise seeps it in this 
got rid of all that problem. She's able to block it out. There's certain things you can configure on this, um, on this particular webcam that makes that part of life easier. So again, you can sit there, look at yourself, point, shoot, and off you go to the races. So it's got a lot of things that will level up your game from that boring standard laptop webcam, which you don't want that. You don't want that up the nose. Look where you kind of look frightened and people are staring up at you. It's not very flattering. So P15, I've got some footage for you. Or what do we have lined up for our folks first on this day with P15 footage? Perfect. So as I was just saying, you've got, and I've got to adjust my, my earpiece here. It's moving around on me. On the P15, what I want you to see here in this video, we're going to show you an audio test so you could see what this sounds like against a MacBook as well as a Lenovo. And both of these are the latest of both. So you could see what the framing looks like. You can also see how well the pickup of the audio and you're going to see something else you won't see in almost any webcam in this price range is to where it will auto focus and zoom. So let's say I've got to move around. As you can see, if I move around here, I'm out of frame, right? This is, this can zoom in like a virtual director of sorts. You're going to see a little bit of that, but what you really want to pay attention to when you're looking at this video on the upper left hand corner, you will see the source of where the audio is coming from. So it'll change from three different uh, pictures that are on the screen. So pay attention to the audio source and you'll know which audio source it's coming from and you'll get to see the visual. So go ahead oh, and roll that footage, Ori. So in this demonstration, we're taking three different cameras, a Mac, a window, and the Poly 15. We're going to see which one of these three has the best video and audio quality. All right, here we go. Science. All right, science. So who that's watching us today can tell us. Raise your hands, class. I see you virtually. Be nice. Be nice. Ted? No, no, Ted. Be nice. All right, over here, what we need, we need is a tight shot. Why don't you go over here? Get in tight. All right, awesome. All right, team. Here we go. This is what we're going to, this is a play we're going to run during the Super Bowl. I want everybody to huddle up. And then I want the center to be out over here. I want you to hike the ball, okay? All right, man, the Super Bowl is on the line. Protect Tom Brady at all costs. That's how we win. That's what, that is the equation that we need to get to more sales, okay? Winning, bandwidth, smiles. Everybody got it? Good. Morale's a little low. I want everybody at the office tomorrow, and I want you to bring your pet. Okay? I don't care what pet it is. Dog, cat, bring your pet. The next thing we want you to do is make sure they have clothes on. All right, clothes. Hey everybody, it's Chef Ro here today. And what we got today, What the Tech is bringing you a brand new coffee. Come into your shelves. It's What the Tech Super Premium Extra, Extra, Extra Caffeinated, Hyper Caffeinated Coffee. This is the coffee you need to start your day. If you don't have this coffee to start your day, you can't think, you can't do things right. You can't think. And what you want is when you're out working on your spreadsheets, that you have the best coffee possible in your cup. That's why I fully endorse What the Tech, What the Tech Super Premium Coffee. Get it today. Well, you know, what stood out there for me is that visual when the P15 zoomed in, there was nobody behind the camera. It was all this bad boy right here. It, it knew to focus in. That was a, uh, a thing that it could do. So if you, if you do presentations out of your home office or your, or even your regular office, and that's something that you're into, and it's a small office, you yourself, you know, do your calls and do your work. This is something that can make those presentations go up rather than just a, having a static image the entire time you're talking to clients or you're talking to patients. You got to show something. You got to demo something. This is like having that virtual director inside your home office with you, helping you along, 
to whoop, to level up that game. So that's one of those really awesome things you won't find in most webcams. All right. So the other thing to, to really notice was the audio. The audio against all of these, uh, against the, the webcam, I'm sorry, against the web built-in microphone on the MacBook and against the Lenovo laptop. By far, much better pickup on that. The visuals, you get a wider range. So if you're trying to do more than just show your face like a talking head, you get a, a little bit more panoramic view. And with the P15, you have the option of cropping that and, and expanding that. So if you want a more narrow, you're always going to do talking head. But you have the ability if you have to, you know, you want to show off, maybe you have a, a location where your office is really, you know, you've invested money and you have other things and items. You have the ability to have a much wider view, view angle view. Oh, Ori, help me out on this one. What is that called? Angle view, point of view, point of view. Is that right? Point of view. Yeah, so your point of view is a little wider than your standard webcam. And most importantly, because this is dismounted, you can put it anywhere. Uh, you can mount it on your screen and you've got a couple extra. I'm going to just show it to you. You've got a couple extra USB ports. That's also very unique in a webcam. Um, other things to point out here, this connects via USB-C and has its own power. Why? because you need some extra power to drive these speakers. All right, to get that rich audio out of there and to drive those additional microphones that are in there trying to pick up your voice and trying to decipher if, if it's a voice or noise. So you've got extra USB ports. Uh, if you, USB ports are a premium, it's, uh, you don't sacrifice any because it's gonna give you an extra one and you're using a USB-C connection into the laptop from here okay all right and you can use a USB-C to USB-A adapter because the connection is USB-C to USB-C so if you need if you don't have a USB-C connection like this one a simple USB-C to USB-A adapter takes care of all of that and that's what how I use it on my MacBook all right so we've got one other test I want to show you what it's like when you get this P15, you get this P15 and you say, Hey, Rolando, I don't look like I should. I look washed out or it's too dark. Now there's some tweaks you can make in the included free software. And I'm going to show you what it looks like when you tweak that versus just getting it out of box. Go. So go ahead and roll that Ori, roll that footage. There you go. So you see, I've got here the before and after where this, this is the before that you're looking at looks too flat and then after you get rid of that overexposed kind of look uh, and it makes a big difference and this took me just a couple of minutes you know to do inside the software now we've got a full length video here that you're looking at that's available on our YouTube page on 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 Global Tech and I believe it's on What the Tech or What the Tech channel you'll see the entire step-by-step -step on how I walk you through how to get the best crystal clear. I, say, I want you to look good. If you get on camera, you don't want to look like, you know, you've got, you know, a thousand watt bulb on your face. If you're going to invest the money in getting the best overall webcam. You might as well take that additional two minutes. Check out our uh, instructional video on how to get the best out of a P15 webcam. All right, runner up, Ori. Runner up goes to Comftel, the Comftel Cam 20. Now I'm going to go straight to footage so that you could see what it's like when you use the Comftel and we have the comparison, right? Comftel versus nothing. Is that right, Ori? Okay. So let's go ahead and roll the footage on this webcam. Okay, there's no audio coming through. Get the, oh, okay. All right, gotcha. So what I'm showing you here is this Comftel Cam. One of the things that really makes it unique 
it is that it comes with a remote control and the ability for you to really have a wider view, a, a wider angle like you see right here. This is this shot is from the uh, ConfTel um, that's shooting this image. And you're going to see me using the remote control to really manipulate the zoom. So you can immediately zoom in. You can move it up. You can move it side to side. You can make all these adjustments. This makes it super handy because you may have a particular funky angle. I was just talking to a guy who does podcasting for a living yesterday, and he was telling me that his Logitech webcam is just mounted on his um, on his monitor, and he doesn't have the room, wiggle room to move the monitor. It's, it is where it is. And with the Conftel Cam 20, you're not locked in because maybe your office is set up in a certain way and you know you've spent all the kind of money or maybe that's it you're limited in space and where you could put things the cocktail cam 20 gets you out of that uh maybe unflattering angle because in his case he had an angle which was too high because where his monitor was and he really couldn't move the monitor for work, what other other work he was doing so i recommended that say, hey, you know what this cocktail cam 20 may be the way out because you can do so much from zooming in, zooming out, left, right, and making these adjustments. So if you want to dial in a particular view um, or you want to be seen in a certain way, this doesn't. And because you have a remote, the remote control allows you to do more than just uh, move left, right, zoom in and out. You can also actually put this camera upside down. So if you have you wanted to mount it on the ceiling, you can mount it on the ceiling. I don't know of any other webcam that does that. So maybe you're in a classroom or maybe you're in a particular huddle room. I know that a lot of folks, sometimes when they use the camera upside down, it's because they're either space constrained or they've got a particular setup in mind where they can't really put something somewhere. So if that's you, this is the webcam that you'll want to use. Also, because you can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can control a few things on this here what you're looking at and what's difficult about this if you're not looking at it like i am on my monitor is the clarity because we've got a broadcast at 720 um on a lot of these platforms so you did the, the the clarity between what you see on the right with the green screen where you have the lenovo you've got this kind of up the nose kind of i'm, I'm over there moving it around and it's much grainier. The image is not, is not as sharp. It's not as clear. Uh, you can also see that in the green, the green screen behind me is bouncing around as I'm, I'm, I'm just there talking. Um, and so it does, has no image stabilization. And over time, when you have this effect, this kind of bouncing, if people kind of get a little nauseous, they kind of get tired and worn out of hanging in there with the uh, video. Now on the left, again, you have the the Conftel webcam. Uh, as you can see there, it's not bouncing around when I touch my desktop, uh, when I touch my desk, and which was something that I had not noticed until we started shooting this. But needless to say, just taking the image from the laptop and moving up to something like the Conftel will do you well. All right, so that's my runner up when it comes to webcams now let's jump straight away into honorable mention because this particular webcam i've got this one here on the side this one is the poly p5 this one is uh, in that budget range so if you used a logitech in the past or something that's a more of an entry level this one will surprise you because most webcams let me show you this most webcams yeah they some they look they're arranged like this and they have some stand this is a stand but this has a secret weapon let me tell you about the hero feature on this one this is not just a webcam this is a presentation cam just watch this the stand comes off and now if i want to take this and use it as a item to present uh, detail maybe i Maybe you're in the medical field uh, or you're in the devices field, you're in the microprocessors, maybe some biological or physical studies, and you got to get down to really nice, sharp detail on something. I've got video on that. So Ori, let's go ahead and show the folks what that looks like when you dismount this webcam and try to present small objects. All right, TikTok. 
Thanks for joining. Oh, we're back to the okay. Stainless I always just this. saying a shout out to the right, TikTok. So now folks. you can see you can even read the words on this scalpel. The word stainless on this scalpel. I'm gonna zoom back a little bit. You can see it's the word stainless. This is how well. And if you were in the medical profession, you'll know that these are very, very small fonts. You can even see the logo that's stamped on this scalpel. So from a resolution standpoint, it demonstrates very well the capability of showing very small, fine details that maybe you're trying to show clients or an education setting or in manufacturing and the details matter and be able to convey a picture with a thousand words, in this case, probably 10,000 words will save you a lot of time, a lot of effort and a lot of back and forth that maybe your standard videos cannot accomplish. And this does it in a very impressive way. And I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole product. That's my fingers touching it there. And now you can see there's the remote control and there's the scalpel. And we're able to get really good zoom in on that scalpel. And that's the dismounted pictures off of the P5 Poly webcam. Again, if you have to present something, you're selling something, you, you want to, you're in a retail environment, you're selling clothes, fashion, anything that has a potential payoff, uh, anything that you really want to show to impress the socks off of somebody, as you used to say, the P5 is an entry level priced webcam that can function as two things in addition to just showing your face it'll show you can dismount it and use it for that one other thing that this does come with it does come with i don't know if i'll be able to catch it here but it comes with a compartment so if you use a usb headset you can plug it into the back another hero feature this is amazing so again you don't sacrifice like i'm a person that doesn't have i wish there were 10 usb ports on my laptop but there are only two on the back macbook that i have so i cherish every usb port so if you do and you don't have any more room you're not giving that up because you get one back and in the case of using the p5 all right so the p5 one other thing it has very easy to tell privacy feature red open red open and when you have it plugged in this will this led light will light up either white or green so that way you know when it's on as well a lot of people have had a lot of embarrassing moments with webcams uh and so if you want to save yourself with those embarrassing moments it will do that in addition to that if you are an it manager and you're got to put a bunch of these out you will love the fact that this type of webcam actually can be managed it can be updated firmware you can you can make it so that it's um across the board whether you have five or you have five thousand these can be managed you can do inventory control a whole bunch of things through the poly lens app you can also do that with the poly p15 so it's very it friendly it's very user friendly and or do we have any other footage did we do it before and after on this one or is that the only one on the p5 okay not a problem so you've got the three best so or the three that i would recommend best overall again your poly p15 runner up when it comes to home office webcam is going to go to the Comptel cam 20 and honorable mention goes to the poly p5 all right now let's move on to the next set of home office essentials what do we got next story okay let's do um let's do the wireless so we're so in this segment, I've got you covered when it comes to the wireless headsets that you would use on a laptop. And I'm going to give you, because there's so, they're literally thousands. I've broken this one down into the premium for those folks that are really dialed into using a hands-free device for several hours a day. Those folks that are in that camp, you're going to want to see the premium and check those out. And those folks that kind of sparingly use it and need just need something to level up the audio experience. I've got the entry level so that 
you don't it doesn't break your budget all right so let's go with the wireless start with the premium okay and i'm going to reach over here and grab some of these to show you all right so so the best premium it's the best premium wireless headset i've got to give it up to the jabra evolve 275 headphones there's too many features to go all into it with this but let me give you this as a bit of of why i see this as the best overall headphones for your home office i've tested hundreds of headphones and headsets and what have you over the years this is by far a huge improvement in comfort a huge improvement in convenience a huge improvement in worker compatibility with the apps that you're going to use on your laptop and for all those reasons as well as the audio performance so the thing that you hear it that you're listening to when you're on it as well as the um let me just turn this down as well as the audio that the people you're talking to are going to hear is primo there's a couple hero features i want to highlight but needless to say it's got let me just let me just jump into it what one of the reasons i like so if, with these headphones you've got very nice ear cups that are very comfortable and here's one of the reasons why it's my best overall in terms of comfort this is by far the most comfortable in this type of format that i've seen in a long time the next thing is that the problem across the board that every pair of headphones faces is that they heat up within minutes or within less than an hour and you've got to take it off your head these have a mesh and two types of foam built in let me see maybe i could take it off and show you on the inner part you've got a blue foam and then you can't see it but around the outside there's another foam that's a different color and it's got a different density and the different densities as well as this vented area allow it your ear to stay cooler longer will it heat up yes it will every everything that uses these kinds of leather no matter what headphones you use when you use something like this material which almost all headphones use some kind of leather-ish material they're not all leather they're either faux leather or some type of plastic this is going to heat up your because it doesn't breathe but this one does the best job overall that i have found in a long time for, for that reason alone if you're planning on using a headphones a lot during or let's just call it more than two hours a day you are going to find this a godsend so that had so that's comfort check next the number one uttered word on virtually every online meeting is you are muted or some variation of that or you your your mic is not on or something to that effect this comes with a very awesome hero feature so in this mode you see this little guy this is a microphone it's tucked in so let's, let's call this headphones mode where you're just basically listening you could be listening to music you could be listening to your podcast maybe you're online and you're again you are on mute and you're not really uh, a participant that's talking now you're asked to go and talk and you've got to take a call or you've got to talk look at this that is freaking awesome that is so awesome so now you know you are not muted you retract it back you're on mute now there's another there's an also a mute button on here you can also mute yourself that way but this is the no-brainer way talk mute let me show you there's another little button here on the boom so if you didn't want to go back and forth back and forth back and forth you can leave the mute uh, the <laughs> you can leave the boom out and there's a button right here and this button is the one that gives you the mute so you can leave it out all the time right maybe you're gonna drink your coffee boom you throw it back in and now you're on mute so the Jabra Evolve 75 when it comes to the apps here's the other part see this button 
if you are a Microsoft Teams user, I can't see why you wouldn't want to use this. It's got a Microsoft Teams button right on the side. So it activates Teams. If you've got a lot of apps and browser um, tabs on your screen, brings it right up, brings the Teams app. So you're in the zone, you're in an action, you're talking, you got an appointment coming up. It's boom, Teams button, you're good to go. So Teams users, you will love this headset. Now, if you're a Zoom user or any, you will still love it. It's got so many convenient things built in that's going to make your life easier. So best overall, Evolve to 75. All right. Now I'm going to give you now the best entry level model. I'm going to reach over here. Also in the Jabra. Do you want, you want me to? Oh, it, I was going to do the premium. So I'm talking here to my producer. Um, I was going to do the premiums and then the runner ups. Can we do that or is it easier for you? Yeah, best overall. Okay. So, best of, of, of the entry level. There we go. Best overall. Um, okay. So, you know, let's stay right there. That's, that's not a problem. Or stay right there with best overall. I'm going to do the runner up. So, runner up for the premium side of the of the equation when it comes to when it comes to wireless headsets is the poly focus 2 poly voyager focus 2 okay poly voyager focus 2 woof now you get some some amazing things on this as well poly voyager focus 2 when it comes to noise it's uh, they have a technology their algorithms that uh, allow the noise block capability is amazing amazing microphone i did a test that i'm going to show you in a moment where i take it outside now a lot of folks may not do what i'm gonna about, about to show you but i just having fun with it wanted to really test the boundaries of what it is really capable of doing uh, it's comfortable um, it's also got some ventilation built in so that you can um, wear this a little longer than some of the other headsets. Um, it's budget friendly uh, from a premium perspective. It's got this very nice comfort band, as it's called. So instead of having just one band at the top that's kind of fixed, it's got this comfort band. So if you've got a smaller or larger head, as you can see, it does self-adjust. You can also telescopically adjust there. You can rotate the boom all the way around, which is different than the than the Evolve 2. All right, so you can wear it left or right. So if you want to wear the mic on the right, you can. If you want to wear it on the left, you can. You can rotate it both sides. On this one, you also have this capability to mute. This is one of those other hero features. A lot of regular headsets, the entry level models do not have this feature that I'm going to show you. You raise it to mute. So again, it avoids the problems of being online when it comes to using headphones, of scrambling for the mute, uh, trying to unmute yourself. If you've got any of those apps that are integrated into the headphones, like a Microsoft Teams, like Zoom, like Google Meet, like Ring Central, those are the ones that I can think on the top of my head that all integrate with the mute capability. Easy. Talk, mute. Now, Ori, right, go ahead, give me um, on me, give me on the main camera so I, can, so I can show folks what that looks like. So from here, I've got it on and I've got it in the mute oh, over here. I've got it in the mute position. All right, wanna talk? Boom. La 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 Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me now? All right? I want to switch it over to the other side. Simple. Put it on the other side. Whoops. And now it's on my left side. And I'm talking. Blah 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 blah. Da, 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 da. Left side, left side, left side. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta. I got to take a little agua. Boom. Go on mute. Nobody's got to hear that. All right. Throat's ready to go. And then you're back in the action and you keep talking. So, Voyager your focus too. Ori, let's go to the footage. Oh, and I'm moving my cam out of the way. Look at that. 
So I just knocked it out. So let me give me a second while I do a little correction. There we go. All right. So I'm going to show you what it's like to put this type of headphones under stress outdoors if you got to take it. I know some people want to use this outside. Maybe they travel, you go to the airport and you're in the Uber and you got to take a call. That happens. Uh, you're in the airport, you get a call, that happens. And you want to use a headset that doesn't let you down and bleed all of that noise when you're outside. This test for you. Roll it, Ori. We're taking the new Voyager Focus 2 out on the open field to see how well this mic performs against a regular microphone that's just capturing audio, simulating a speakerphone. Let's take a look. Maybe you're outside on that day where you need to be out with the kids or other loved ones and you got a windy day, you're expecting calls from the office or clients and you want to make sure you don't sound like you're in a wind tunnel. <laughs> We're in a nice open field, summer day, cicadas, some sunshine, some clouds, a little bit of everything today. All right, and that has been a test with the new Voyager Focus 2 and my two audio engineers, four-legged one, two-legged one. So last summer we had the massive cicada coming out of the ground making all that noise and let me tell you it was just noisy the whole summer every time you stepped out out here in the nation's capital you got a lot of cicada noise going on and that's nobody wants to hear that when you're talking to people and that's exactly why i used a a rode mic which has zero noise canceling capability and allowed me to have a little fun take my my little toddler out and my my my, my bella my four legged little creature as my audio engineers or helpers for that day and if you got your cell phone with you and you're on the road you know what i'm talking about this is definitely the thing so the polyfocus 2 yes it will do the job indoors obviously because when you see what what it does outdoors but if you had to take it outside great for taking it outside and taking it on the road with you so it does double duty all right, honorable mention in this category, we've got the BH-72 and 76. I'm gonna reach around here for it. All right, so let me tell you why these are honorable mention. And still a good choice. Now the 72 and 76, they, from a, from a features perspective, they have a, a couple of things that are different. So I'm going to put on my left here, we've got the 76 and here we have the 72. Uh, the ear cups are a little bit bigger on the 76, the 72. Technology wise, they function the same. Audio wise, they function the same. Microphone booms are both the same. They have a retractable boom and I'm moving here on the side. You can see it pops out. So what you're seeing here with the manufacturers is moving to a headphone slash headset hybrid. Um, and that's simply because the last three years, our whole world has changed. And so the way people work, more remote working, more hybrid working, this is what users are saying they want. So all of that's the same. The difference comes when you, this is the 76 on the left and the 72. The 76 has built-in A and C. That's what these holes are for. It's a built-in internal microphone so that when you want to block out the outside world, essentially you have a reverse noise cancellation. So the outside world sound comes in and what comes out is essentially like a little quiet white noise or very low audio from the outside world. You do not get that on the 72. So if that's a feature that's not important to you, 72 does the job. If it is, because you are traveling, you are on the road, you, uh, you go on an airplane, uh, maybe you are in a little bit noisier environment where you have a chatty coworker, you're in an open office plan and you, you're surrounded by other colleagues and you wanna be able to focus, the ANC feature comes in super handy for those of you that are in that situation. If you're not, 72 will do the job the other thing that i really like about these both 
is again comfort and if that's a word i keep repeating it's because the it's the one factor i can't really show it to you but i can tell you from my years of experience when i find a comfortable headset uh, one if i were going to be super critical and one of the reasons why i have it in as an honorable mention is that when it comes to wearing this first of all i have a small head so if you are a self subscribed melon head or a, a big nog and we have a I have a colleague named dave he is a self-proclaimed big melon guy and it fits on him perfectly and it doesn't slide off the one thing for me for those non-melon head people is that it, it will fit just fine if you're not moving around um and it does telescope on the ends to make it better uh, or longer for those melon heads but if i'm moving around you know, walking up with that, it does tend to move around. So if that's not a problem or a deal breaker for you, you're fine. Uh, for those that are more active and want something that's more firm, you're going to find that the the sliding around type of thing is going to be very, uh, it's kind of a trade-off with some of these comfort versus snug fitting kind of headsets. If you have a melon head, you're probably not going to experience that because most headsets are going to fit snug on you anyways. So for those non-melon head folks, if you wanted to know what that's like, just know that that could be a possibility. Again, I'm not beholden to any of these companies. I'm giving you the unfiltered truth so that you know exactly what you're getting. All right, this Yealink headphones, these, these are, they are, they're newer in the market. You've heard of Plantronics or Poly. You've heard of Jabra, all right? You probably haven't heard of Yealink because they are newer they are newer player in the headset headphone arena they've been known for years for producing and making phones and that's what they're known for they're a leader in phones your phone may say yaylink on it especially if you are using a voice over ip provider these days like a ring central or vonage or something like that yaylink is well known in the telecom arena so this this is just a natural extension of what they do and with here's here's the another reason it's an honorable mention with the newer bluetooth headphones that yaylink is making a lot of their phones have built-in bluetooth so you can use the yaylink headsets directly connected into those phones you could use any bluetooth headset for that matter with their bluetooth phones and if you don't have built-in bluetooth into their yaylink phones you can also buy a bluetooth dongle um or a Bluetooth adapter made by Yealink. I wanna stress this. If you do not have a Bluetooth dongle and you wanna use it with a Yealink phone, get a Yealink dongle. Don't get some other cheapo dongle. It ain't gonna work, it ain't gonna work well. You're not gonna be happy with it. Save yourself the stress. Get the Yealink version of the Bluetooth dongle, All right? Now, we're gonna do the budget. Uh, wait, wait, let me reverse that. Almost jumped out of order. Now, we're gonna jump into the entry level models okay all right i'm gonna take a little swig here while we're queuing things up for you mm. all right love that summer tea right best overall entry level model this one has to go to the jabra evolve 265 all right this is the little brother or little sister to the evolve 275 what you get what you're let me just tell you what you're not getting with the evolve 265. go ahead ori oh okay i'm being corrected by my by my producer i've got my cards out of order let's let's try that again okay so let's best overall well i like them both um 230 Oh, where did that go? Hmm. I thought I just had it here. Ah! You got put into the wrong pile. Okay. Best overall, the EPOS 230. So the EPOS 230, you get an amazing, super comfortable entry level model what's what's so different about this from other bluetooth is the oval shape of the ear cups 
Yeah, I'll show it. To you. Ooh, where are we going? Where are we going? On the tabletop. Okay, Ori, stay on the tabletop. Oval shaped ear cups. This is more natural. This is how your ear is is more of this shape. It's gonna fit on your ear better. It's gonna stay there and deliver sound in a way that uh, is easy to hear because the, the form factor is such that it's also very ergonomic. Now, in the entry level model, you don't have the features that you have in the premium with A and C, with the active noise canceling. Um, you don't have the boom that is intelligent that mutes, but you do have a mute capability on these headsets. As you can see, we've got a mute button right there. There's the icon. For those that use Teams, again, for my Teams users, EPOS, also known as Sennheiser, has you covered. You have a Teams button so that it integrates with Teams functions, brings the app to the front, makes your Teams experience so much better, more convenient, and easier, especially if you're on Teams a lot. So that's one of the reasons I really like this headset. The other reason is, again, comfort. What is this like from a comfort standpoint? Look, look at that, that earpiece. You can move it up and down. The boom, I should say the headband is adjustable. So it flexes. So again, if you have a big noggin, Dave Kelly, I'm thinking of you. It does that. You know, one of the reasons why a lot of people do not use a company issued headphones is that a lot of times companies are issuing be way below what you're seeing today. And it's simply a numbers game when it comes to economics. And all, what a lot of IT managers and, and uh, office managers end up finding out much later is that people aren't using the issued technology. I mean, they may be using the laptop and that's about it. They may not use the webcam. They may not even use the headset. And a lot of it has to stem from one, comfort, and two, compatibility. It, it doesn't do the job very easily. And it's not that the office managers are not smart people um, or purchase, they're, they are smart, but they're just looking at it from a numbers perspective. I order 10 or 100 of these, it's gonna cost X. But at the end of the day, if most people don't end up using that, those productivity gains that you would have had, have they been using a hands-free and be able to use both hands and talking to clients, patients, customers, whatever have you, those are wiped out because if if you have folks talking like this, right, that's not comfortable and you've got, you're only 50% uh, effective at what you could do or more commonly like this, right? Talking like this, that ain't, that, that's not going to work all day like that. Mm -mm. You don't want that. You don't want workers to work like that. They're not going to be very productive very long through the day or even worse talking like this and using that speakerphone. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You don't want that at all. So these headsets, even the entry level ones, they are priced above what let's say a 20 or $40 uh, wire uh, headsets going to cost because these kind of do different things than those headsets, but you get a lot more back. You get users that can have world-class microphones, world-class comfort, world-class convenience when they're using applications like Microsoft Teams, like Zoom, like Ring Central, uh, Google Meet, which almost all mid-size and large companies are, are using today, as well as government users. They're all on one of these four platforms. So EPOS 230, the, uh, and they also, it comes in a stereo version. So this is what I'm showing you is the mono version. And we do have a, um, a demo video on that, right? Ori, you wanna show folks? All right. So let's go to the footage, pick the one you have and, um, Roll that, Ori. We did with the Evolve 65. Going up the stairs, down the stairs, and out the back through the deck. So let's start with the steps. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to walk over by the steps. Just go up to the top of the steps. I'm going about, about 20, 30, 
almost 40 feet over here. I'm walking over to the top of the steps. I'm going to walk right over to the entrance of one of my other rooms and see if you can hear me. EPOS ADAPT 230. All right, now we're going to walk back down to the bottom of the steps. All right. All right. There we go. And I'm going to walk right back over to my office. And that is the walk around test with the EPOS ADAPT 230. All right. So on the EPOS 230, one of the things that I like that happened here on this video is that as I got to the top of the steps, the, the audio cut out. This is going to happen. We're going to run this test with 20 other Bluetooth wireless. Almost all of them are going to have this kind of problem. And it's an important, important thing to point out, whether you pay $400 for a wireless Bluetooth headset or you pay a hundred dollars bluetooth is tricky bluetooth is a wireless signal that is fairly weak so the range that you get with bluetooth headsets bluetooth wireless um keyboards wireless mouse wireless printers all of these are prone to the same problem they all use the same frequency the difference is the amount of wattage dedicated so the watts, the power of that being put out, the output of that Bluetooth signal. What you will see is that it's also prone uh, when, you, when if you have a lot of Wi-Fi in your area, they're also on the same spectrum. So you take the Bluetooth signals, you take walls and you've got metal objects, refrigerator, if you're at home, again, this for the home, home user, you've got a refrigerator, you've got floors uh, between you and you've got metal beams inside those floors. You've got all kinds of things that will shorten the range of the signal. Manufacturers will tell you, you can get a hundred meters or a hundred, 300 feet, a hundred feet, all this stuff, nonsense. Because when they're measuring these devices, these devices are measured against a standard and they're using somewhere around here. They're using a Bluetooth dongle, first of all, right? And in this, that video, we were using a Bluetooth dongle. This is one of them, okay? You're using a Bluetooth dongle, but that does not solve the problem of, of, of totally of range. It will deliver better audio. It will deliver a better audio experience. It will help cut out some of those problems, but it's still an issue. So one of the, one of the hacks that I have for you that we've found and we've um, provided to a lot of customers over the years is something that we call a Bluetooth range extender. You simply take this dongle, insert it, insert it into a cable that goes into your laptop. And now you're going to see, you're going to get a little bit better range because the signal's stronger. You have a better line of sight and better line of sight means you're going to be able to go further. So I'm glad it showed that because a lot of folks, uh, when you, when you're looking at, um, anywhere you're looking at any forum any review you're gonna say i, I couldn't you, you'll you'll find folks that complain about i can't go more than 10 feet and the signal cuts out it's because if i were to give you an analogy if i take my cell phone and i put it right here under this desk do you think i'm gonna get a call maybe maybe not if i talk under this desk this piece of wood it's quite thick underneath it's going to degrade the signal the same thing happens with bluetooth it needs to see like like the cell phone that needs a good signal over to the tower the same happens with bluetooth and it even worse at bluetooth because i would venture to say in your home office you probably have more than two or three or four if you've got if you're using um a wireless camera that is you know maybe a security cam uh, they tend to use Bluetooth as well. Nest has it built into a lot of uh, cameras, and so does a lot of the other web camera, um, web, when we're talking, I shouldn't say, rephrase, home security cameras have Bluetooth built in. Your neighbors may have Bluetooth as well. And so depending on where you are, maybe you're in a city or even in a town home, you will find that. Uh, if you're using this inside the office, obviously way many more people have their phones, those all use Bluetooth. All of those things can shorten the range and that you have between the headset you're wearing and your laptop. So pro tip, 
if you're finding that you're having range problems or range issues, the Blue Beacon, a very low cost and effective way to try to mitigate some of those problems. All right. So that's the EPOS 230. We have another demo for you. Which one do we have? Um, Ori, what's the other one? I know we have another one on there. Oh, yes. So what does this sound like? I mean, you heard one kind of one-sided conversation. What I want you to see for those folks that are going to use this with voice over IP applications like Teams and you're talking to folks, Zoom and you're talking to folks, Ring Central or Google Meet, what does this actually sound like? So you're going to get a little bit of flavor of that. Um, Dave and I had some fun uh, using the Ring Central platform. Go ahead, Ori, and queue up that video. How are you, man? What's up? How you doing, Dave? Hey, I'm doing really good. I just wanted to check in with you. I'm still doing the evaluation on the EPOS Adapt 231. I okay. love it. It's very comfortable. Um, so I'm actually in the field. Mm -hmm. I'm connected yeah. to a. I'm connected to an iPhone. Okay. Using our uh, Ring Central network, which I love it. I'm okay. so glad that we've uh, moved to the yes. cloud. It really makes things easy. It makes it, absolutely. And uh, I'm using a, a mobile network, just a just a mobile network. I don't know if it's four or five G, no, but uh, well, it's coming through just fine. You, the video quality is acceptable. Audio wise, you sound fine. I'm not hearing any crazy noises. It's not staticky or garbled. I can understand every word that you're saying. That's great. Listen, um, the other thing I really like about this headset, super easy. I was working in my home office mm -hmm. using this connected to All my right. PC. And then when I left, I just, I mean, it's so lightweight, just grabbed it, mm -hmm. left the house, and um, and here I am. So pretty cool. Again, it's not very sliding stable. sliding off your head? No, not at all. So far, I really like this thing, and I think the price is definitely right, for sure. Yeah, well, it's aggressive, that's for sure. So I'm connecting to you. You're still using that Jabra headset. What do you think? I, I am. I'm on the Jabra Evolve 65, um, and I'm connected over the the PC using. Obviously, we're on Ring Central, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm hearing you fine. Um, I like it. Um, and if you hear me fine, that's that's part of the thing. And I there's a conversation going on in the background right now, so I don't know if you got any of that, or if no. that's coming through. No, uh, it's no. not a screaming baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's an actual adult conversation happening, um, but um, I'm I'm hearing you fine. And if you hear me fine, then that's that's really all we can ask for right now. Then, listen, I can definitely see a uh, a workforce wanting to deploy either of these solutions that's right. here. That's right. All right. And, all right, Dave. Well, thanks for checking in. Um, I'll see you in the office. That sounds good. Bye, Rob. All righty. All right. I wanted to show this to you because. Quite often, uh, for those folks that need to travel, need to be on the go, they want to level up their game when it comes to audio. And they want something else that can work on the laptop. So if you are one of those people, you heard what it sounds like when you're using, in this case, we're using Ring Central. So it's the actual audio and video from a mobile phone uh, dialing into a Ring Central call, which would be like dialing into a Zoom call or dialing in through a Teams call if you have that going on. So that's what we've got. What else do we have, Ori? Okay, let's... Um, okay, this this will just button up the... Go ahead and roll that. This will, What you're going to see is trying to... I'm going from where I have my home office, and I don't go very far. It's going to highlight... One of the issues that I mentioned earlier about Bluetooth problems, but you'll still be able to see what I'm talking about. So go ahead and roll that, Ori. And see if we get similar results, better or worse. I'm walking right out, walking right out of the deck. I'm going to close the glass doors and screen. Nice and sunny.
Okay, so I'm walking back in, closing the glass doors. I've got my little one here helping me, but he should, he wants to be a TV star already. So that's been a test with the EPOS Adapt 230 Bluetooth headset. Back to you. All right, so I show you this, not because the EPOS is bad, it is really good, but this can happen to you on any, any Bluetooth. So if you're watching this and you've had problems in the past with other Bluetooth devices, know that you're not alone. I show this because I wanna help you. I wanna make sure that you understand the limitations of Bluetooth devices, even really good ones like the one Sennheiser makes like the EPOS one that I'm showing you right now. So understand Bluetooth has its limitations. It can't do maybe, uh, you know, 100 or 200 feet. And actually we, we've tested this. We were able to get 500 feet on Bluetooth, but not in an environment like a home office, not in an environment like a regular office. We had to go outside and where there's no interference, like a football field. And we were able to go like 500 feet using the dongle using and not using a non dongle both so but we had clear line of sight nothing in between so you can go very far but the moment you introduce anything that blocks that signal you're going to have some issues so that's why i show you this footage and if you want to uh, maybe boost the signal up a little bit more so you get a little bit better uh, range i highly recommend the bluetooth range extender that we call the blue beacon all right Let's move on. Next. What's next, Ori? What do we got? What are we got? Runner up. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Runner up goes to the Evolve 265. Like the 75, it has that hero feature for mute. So it's got the intelligent mute capability where you rotate down, you rotate back. So if you've got it like this in the up position, you're muted, and you rotate down to the talk position. It's going to talk. This is by far w one of the best, <coughs> excuse me, by far one of the best things I've seen over the last few years. Most Bluetooth headsets and headphones do not have that intelligent mute feature. You also have the muting capability as a button. And where they're located, a lot of times you'll find that um, the buttons are laid out almost towards the front. They're laid out towards the top. So if you're, as you can see where my finger's at, then it's more natural to reach around the top of the headphones. And that's the layout. So you've got your mute up and down and you've, you can mute yourself as well. All right, awesome. You've got, you've got a button in here that you can also configure with the software. This is another hero feature and the comfort. So let me show you another thing that's very different than a lot of the low, very low prices that on this, you have this rotation. The rotation is what allows it to fit to your head nice and comfortably. Most headsets, even some expensive ones, they're in a fixed position like this and they don't move. So here you have the ability to rotate around so to lay on your ears more comfortably and you have the ability to telescopically change and adjust where they fit on your head. Super, super cool, uh, especially for this price range. The other small thing, so you can see they move up and down. So you get three levels of adjustments. You get the rotation, you get the pivoting, and you get the telescopic. Really cool. Now, I've got an audio demonstration so you can see what it looks and sounds like when you're using this headset. Go ahead and roll that, Ori. And we are going to do a drink test. Quite often, sometimes the booms get in the way uh, when you try to drink, and sometimes you don't want people to hear, so I'm going to... Unfortunately, for this headset, it has a wonderful feature that allows the, the boom as soon as you 
then and when you come back down it brings the audio of live back in and it's also prompting you that you're muted so you get a prompt telling you muted unmuted that way you know exactly when somebody's listening to to what you're saying so as far as this goes this is a this is pass it's a passing grade for the drink test now we'll do a walk around test in this test what we want to do is see if it's picking up my my breath my voice as i'm walking um, is it picking up any other wind or any other elements as i'm walking that would be disturbing to the user or to actually to the person you're talking to All right. So that's the walk around. The loop de doo test. Spinning around in a chair. Spinning, spinning, spinning. Spinning, spinning. All right. The loop de doo test. My two year old would be proud. So we've done the drink test. It passes that. And now we've done the loop de doop test. And this should give you a good idea of what this microphone sounds like when you use the Jabra Evolve 265 wireless headset. If you're a parent and you had the experience of having a two year old, you know why I was talking like this the entire time of the video. <laughs> You don't want that two-year-old to wake up. No, that, that video was filmed a while back ago, uh, right at when this headset was launched. And now he can sleep through it. And I can talk a little bit louder than I was before. Uh, but I really was trying. And I didn't realize this until much later. Obviously, I was trying to speak softly so that he, did, he would not wake up. But the pickup on it was actually quite good, even with a soft voice. So if you have a soft voice... You'll find that the microphone pickup is pretty good, even though behind me there is music playing in the background uh, and you could not hear that at all. Uh, in addition to that, walking, uh, doing kind of spinning in my chair, you know, if you try to do that with your cell phone, you'll hear all that. You hear that wind from moving around and you have a lot of that happen as well on lower end um, headphones or headsets that are Bluetooth. It just doesn't do a good job of doing that. So if you move around in your chair or you're, you know, going to the kitchen to grab a bite and you're on the call and you don't want colleagues to hear that, even with a microphone down, it will make sure that that doesn't come through. All right. So, Ori. Yeah, it sounds like that. Um, I'm hearing a repeat. So that's, that's okay. Um, mm, that's all right. Uh, I could I could use this shot. Don't worry about it. Um, it. We may have, and because my other device also went down here. So the show must go on. Let's use the um, so honorable mention. We've got uh, the Poly, also known as Plantronics, forty three hundred series. So with the forty three hundred series, this is what this looks like. All right, I'm gonna it, in this comes with its own stand it comes with a usb connection it's a usb a now something to point out about this particular uh, headset this is just a charging stand it does not act as a base station in order to uh, get you uh, connectivity into let's say a phone that's a desk phone or as a base station as a, with some other wireless headsets it will do that or you just hold on for one second because something is bugging me over here i gotta i gotta fix this huh. is the tabletop not in anymore do we not see it on your end Okay, you can't manufacture this in real time, but uh, yeah, we got a little, I don't know, 
what happened here? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this, a reset. See if we get, we get reconnected. All right. This is live. You can't, uh, she would like to allow. Okay. Let's go. Come on, tabletop. Let me know if, hey, tabletop. Hold on a second, Lori. Okay. Let's try this one more time. Okay. Wow. Let's mute. Go to settings. Go to camera. Go to back camera. Okay. And let me make sure the audio. Yep, it's not on that one. That's there we go. One, two, three. Let's go. Yay. Awesome. All right. I think that'll work. All right. We're back. We're back with our tabletop. Let me just, small tweak there. All right. 4300 series by Plantronics. Okay. This is a good entry level headset. Um, I've used it as well. It's, 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 uh, it's still fairly comfortable. It's not as comfortable as the other ones, uh, but it's uh, priced very well. And it comes with a stand. So I was talking about the stand. The stand allows you to have somewhere to put it. That's something you're not gonna get with the other two that I showed you. You'd have to get one, like an aftermarket stand. So if you're maybe a light user, let's say one to two hours a day, this is gonna work for you just fine. And you want somewhere to put your headset you got it right here in the box included um and you don't have to worry about that all right you plug it you plug the charging stand in via usb and you're all set to go so 4300 series it comes in the mono or in this case i've got the stereo version let me just show you that so you can see what some of the layout looks like you've got a mute button in here this is how you mute on the 4300 there aren't any um, entry, what we would call entry level models that have that intelligent boom. So that's not available on the 4300 series. You'd have to use the Voyager Focus 2, which is the big brother and big or big sister to this particular model. Um, and it, it, that other model includes ANC. So there's no ANC in this, uh, but you get a really good microphone. Look at the shot of that, the microphone. All right. You can wear it on the right. You can wear it on the left. So that boom rotates. So you can wear it on either side. It does stretch to accommodate a noggin if you've got one of those. As you can see here, the separation, you've got a headband comfort bar, which is very interesting. So from that standpoint, you get a nice, comfortable headband at the top. Okay. All right. And that's the Poly 4300 series. Let's go to our next set of contenders. We've got the budget headsets. Ori? All right. So in this round of headsets, I've got you covered when it comes to budget-friendly USB headsets that are corded that plug right in to your laptop. And this could work on your Mac or your Windows PC. So your best overall budget-friendly USB headset is going to go to the Yealink UH-34. Well, you're probably wondering, what the heck? What the, what the tech is that? Well, I'm going to show you. All right. If you've not heard of Yealink, it is not because... It's not because you haven't tried or you don't... It, it's just that they're new. They're new to the marketplace. And... And you could see I've used this one quite a bit. And 
I brought this one because I, I like talking about what I've used and I can bring that experience to you, not from what just reading the specs, but actually using it. And this is why I'm giving it my best overall from a budget standpoint headset, a budget USB headset, a, a few things to point out that you're going to get here I, on this headset, you're going to get, uh, you're going to get mute. And if you're a Teams user, again, if you haven't picked up on this theme, Teams user, I got you covered. You have a Microsoft Teams button that allows you to use the app and interact with the app. Or you got to give me a moment here. I've got to unplug here for a moment. Getting back to, getting back to uh, having a little one. Little one doesn't quite understand that. <laughs> he wants data when he wants them. Doesn't matter what you're doing. All right. So back to the Yaylink. So with the Yaylink, you've got a Teams button. You've got a mute button, and you've got an answer and disconnect. This comes really handy for using those apps like Zoom, like Teams, like. Uh, Ring Central, uh, like Google Meet, all of them come with the ability to integrate the headset buttons, as it's known, in through the app right into this type of controller. So the controller makes your life easier. The, the, the more you use a headset, you'll find this just pays off. Now, what other reason is this one among the sea of hundreds, hundreds, literally hundreds of USB types of headsets that makes this different is the microphone performance. I have been surprised when I use this, how well it sounded to the people I was talking to. When I asked them, Hey, how do I sound? They're like, you sound crystal clear and the audio is coming through just fine. And I've done some recordings with this and I'm amazed how well it picks up your voice and how clear it delivers your voice. So, for those two reasons, the microphone performance on this, as well as the controller that you get with this, that allows to you to do the answer. It allows you to mute. It allows you to interact with apps like Teams. It's got a volume control up and down. All of that built in, you get an amazing value for the performance you're getting out of this. Now, let me show you something. What you're not getting. What are you not getting? The premium models have an amazing rotation capability. This has a very limited rotation capability. All right. So it, it, it doesn't conform like the premium headsets around your head. And that's just what you give up when you're going down in price, you're giving up some comfort. So if you're using this for a couple of hours a day, you may not even notice the difference, but if you're a heavy user, I just nudge you over to the premium, but if you're really budget constrained, this is going to do the job and won't let you down. So just know that the premium is going to offer you the, the best level of comfort. These not so much, but if you're budget constrained, this will get the job done. Yay link hats off to you. Big props to you. Yay link for making such a wonderful budget, budget friendly headset. All right, let's go to our runner up. Okay, our runner up is the Jabra Evolve 240. Is that what we got? Or, I'm oh, sorry, see, I've screwed it up again. The Evolve 165. Uh, I've got to unplug. <laughs> EPOS, I've got Evolve in the head a lot. I've got to, I've got to unplug again. I've got to, unfortunately, I got to take this off again. Hold on.
There we go. It's the EPOS Adapt 165. Thank you, Ori, for reminding me. You know, you do this long enough, sometimes you mix things up. And Evolve and EPOS sometimes in the brain don't mix. So the 165, we get really good customer reviews on this one. This is one where I was surprised at, at, um, at this particular type of headset. Now, so you could see this, this one is a 3.5 millimeter style. So if you've got a laptop that's still using this type of connector, you're still in the game. There's a lot of awful, there's a still a ton of laptops out in the world out there that this is probably the only way you could interact. But so you could use this for your laptop as well as your phone. And this is why I gave it a runner up. It's flexibility to be used on your mobile. So I could use it here, just plug it right in. Plugs right into the bottom of my cell phone. And boom, I'm in business. I've got a really good quality microphone that's built in here. Uh, like the 230 that you saw on the on the wireless side, it's the same exact microphone. I've also got, let me see if I can uh, uncover these speakers for you. There we go. Plug it here. these speakers as you can see the oval design from a comfort standpoint you cannot beat that this is by far super comfortable compared to the round so oval always beats round when we're talking about design and when it comes to comfort you absolutely if you can get an oval design and you're going to use something for an extended period of time this is going to win in terms of comfort every single day of the year so that's my pro tip. Oval designed uh, earpieces are going to do the trick. So that one does the job, does the trick. It does come in a version as well. So this is the one that only includes the 3.5. If you use a USB, there is a the there is a version of the of the this same headset that comes in that comes in with a USB controller included. This particular, this is the basic version of it does not have it but if you wanted to step up and have that included they do have a version that includes a usb controller along with the entire headphones all right let's go to our honorable mention honorable mention do -do -do -do. evolve 240 by jabra and I knew I had it in here somewhere. Behind me. Okay. So with the Evolve 2, you have integrated call controls. You get that same comfort that you have on the 65. And as you see, you've got, you've got um, slightly oval-shaped ear cups again that's what you want oval is the way to go i'll take this out and you can see you've got a oval design um, instead of a round design ear cups that's going to lend itself to just a more comfortable experience for the user for yourself or if you're ordering these for a team you'll find that that's that's the design you want to go from a comfort standpoint okay let me pop those back in now Unlike the 165 by Sennheiser, where they have the controller in line on the cable, on the Evolve 2, you've got the essentially the controller piece built into the headphones. So you've got your volume up and down, and you've got your mute built in. Okay? That is interesting. Because now, for those folks that don't want to have something hanging and dangling, everything is on the headphones. This is a matter of preference because I've used it both ways. And the advantage to this is it's clean and nice aesthetically. The disadvantage to this is that you're reaching up to your head every time you're trying to manipulate the sound or the audio or the mute. 
that. So that's the downside versus having something that's inline. Inline makes it uh, from an ergonomic standpoint. If you were using that a lot through the day, having it down around where your desk is would be convenient. Then on the flip side, that is also what when you're when you're using a design that has the controller separated from the headset essentially down in, or in line the downside is it is dangling but what what i find is that the folks that gravitate towards the controller tend to be people that are more desk bound and want to have uh, just the ease of use of having this these buttons at their fingertips because it's just from a you know ergonomic naturally kind of using again not introducing any friction if you can just keep the human body performing the way it normally does which is you've got your keyboard here and you've got your controller here that's much more natural air traffic controllers have control buttons like this when they're talking into headsets a little larger it's more of a pistol style shape but it's in it's in this type of form factor where it's at your fingertips because that's just more natural to use versus these buttons so from a preference standpoint if you're somebody that's always changing the volume and, and throughout the day you know this this design may not work for you but this design will this design has a little bit more comfort this one doesn't have that so from a user perspective it's important to know who are the users that are going to end up at the end of the day using this and that's why Global Tech's been around for 20 plus years because when we talk to people and they call us and they say, hey, you know, I've got a group of users, 10 salespeople here, and I've got 20 people that are accountants over there, and I've got 50 in a call center, the exact same headset for all those groups is not what I would recommend because of the function, because of the things that they do, because of the tasks they do, um, and, it, and what they get and ultimately, we get back to what I was talking about earlier. If you have one headset fits all kind of mindset, especially in a large organization where you may have different departments and different functions, you're going to have people that are not going to use the headset because as soon as you start using it, they're like, eh, eh, or they're going to have some issue with it. So getting the right headset for the function is super important because you can have a likelihood or you're, you're, you're less likely to have issues when the headset or headphones matches the function of that particular user versus here's the one we're going to issue across the entire organization. I've seen that and I've seen a lot of where when you do that, you're going to have some users that have zero issues, but then you're going to have a group with what they need may not fit with what they've been issued. So just as an FYI, you know, level up your game glad to help you out ping us send us any on any of the socials we're glad to help you out we're that's why we're we've been around for 20 years that expertise we'll give it to you so you're the pro you're the hero you save the day when it comes to your users if you're an it manager or an office manager or you're purchasing these for a, a large group of people all right so we talked about the best for usage with usb that's our yay link why they are yay link uh 34 i'm having all kinds of issues today my little guy threw me a little bit off my game you know he wanted data he wanted data time right in the middle of this video that happens if you've got a little one you know what i'm talking about our runner up was the epos 165 that can be used on a smartphone it can also be used on a laptop that's using the 3.5 millimeter style of audio connection. And if you want to use the USB version, they, they make a model that includes a USB connector and uh, the, the 3.5 that comes with. So you just insert it into that connector and you're off to the races on the USB side. An honorable mention goes to the Jabra Evolve 240, which we were just talking about with its integrated call controls into the headset. It's very sleek design. It's very Danish uh, to have that type of integration. That is who the Danes are. They like sleek. They don't like all the, you know, and that's what you get with a Jabra. You get sleek Danish design. So if you're into that, the Jabra is for you. Any of these three will quote work. But again, they all have their hero features. 
one versus the other. They come in either USB-C versions or USB-A. And you know what? Here's a simple pro tip. Doesn't matter which one you get, USB-A or USB-C. If you get USB-A and you have some users that have USB-C, you can buy those two versions. Or here's one way to make it easier. Just get a bunch of USB-A to USB-C adapters and now you've got yourself covered. Those are like $7, USB-A to USB-C, instead of having to worry about SKUs. Totally up to you, but that's what I would do if I were ordering this for a bunch of people and maybe you had a mixture of, of users that have USB-A or USB-C ports. All right, so that's the home office essentials. We covered ground. And so let's do a recap of what we talked about today. Our best webcams best overall went to the poly p15 the runner-up was to Conftel cam 20 and honorable mention goes to the poly p5 poly if if you're not familiar is also plantronics and polycom the merger of that company results in, re resulted in this name poly so those are our webcams our next category for home office essential was the premium wireless category and the best overall went to the Jabra Evolve 275. I think that is a game changer for a lot of home office professionals that are looking for something very comfortable that, that delivers a great audio, great comfort, um, using it for work, using it for play because it does deliver really good audio so you can listen to your podcast, your streaming music, all of that. Um, and so it comes with a ton of features. Runner up goes to the Poly Focus 2 amazing noise canceling uh, which is what plantronics is known for and lastly honorable mention goes to the up-and-coming company yay link in the headset arena they've been around for years making telephones especially for voice over ip providers so zoom phone which believe it or not zoom now has a phone capability so you can call within zoom you got questions about that give us a call we'll get you straightened on that microsoft teams and a whole bunch of other uh, Yaling phones. Entry level, we're looking at the wireless headsets. When looking at the wireless headsets, the best overall for the money went to the EPOS 230. It also comes in mono and stereo. And runner up on this one was the Evolve 265. Honorable mention goes to the 4310. It also comes in a 4320 by Poly or what was known as Plantronics. And last is our budget USB headsets. Best overall, Yaylink UH34. Uh, the sound quality when you're talking to people is really on par with the premium. And the controller that's right at your fingertips makes it very easy to use. Runner up was the EPOS 165 that has a 3.5 millimeter connector for older laptops that may not have a USB but it also comes with the ability to get the 165 with the USB connector as well. And honorable mention, in this case goes to the Jabra Evolve 265 using that Danish Scandinavian design integrated buttons into the USB headset. You don't find that in that um, price range. When it, comes to, me, when it comes to entry level, you don't find those controls integrated into the headset, but given their Danish and Scandinavian design. That's who they are. They kind of roll like that. All right. So we've covered the ground for home office essentials. If you have questions about home office essential, I and my team take questions. We all over social media. Um, if you've, you're watching this video on one of, of the platforms where we are putting this video, we actually respond. There's a human being. I will myself also respond to some of these as well and answer all your questions. You got a team of people you want to outfit with some of this stuff. Reach out to us. We love talking to people. We don't hide. You know, we love talking to people. We've got folks right here in the U.S. that will want to talk to you, help you out. They're tech experts and they will figure out what the best headsets are for your entire team, whether it's a team of five or a team of 500. So give us a call. We'd love to talk to you. And thanks for joining me today on this video. And if you want more information, you want to nerd out some more on other products that we've covered and reviewed, I invite you to join us on our YouTube channel where we have a, over almost 300 videos all on different topics 
from these different tech devices to webcams to speakerphones to other problems that you may encounter when using tech devices. So thank you for joining me today and I will see you the next time.